In We Out, it is uh, presented by our friends at Progressive Insurance. That was Jets head coach Robert Sala backing Zach Wilson after a tough game had by all against the Patriots on Sunday. Um, but Coach Sala might be on an island on this one. One Jets legend doesn't quite agree. Here's what Broadway Joe Namath had to say about Zach Wilson's performance yesterday with Michael Kay and the boys on the Yes Network. What would you, if you, if somebody handed you Zach Wilson and said, okay, Joe, make him better, what would you do? Send him to Kansas City to back up against somebody like Mahomes, maybe he'd learn something. I wouldn't keep him. You know, I've seen enough of Zach Wilson. All right? I've seen enough. Strong comments from the greatest Jets quarterback of all time, which... Everyone is saying, we've seen enough, we've seen enough. Well, Joe Douglas is the GM, and they're sticking with unquestioned their quarterback, Zach Wilson. Here's some of the free agents that are out there. Colt McCoy's hurt, or is coming off an injury. You got Flacco, who was there last year. Nick Foles, obviously, removed. And Matt Ryan's calling games. And he says he's out. So yeah. He's out. 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 So take him off. Jets need to sign a veteran quarterback before the week four game against the Chiefs. Are we in or we out, Kyle? We started off with you. I'm with Joe in the sense that I've seen enough. I don't want to see Zach Wilson play anymore. I, I don't think he should start another game. And, look, I, you know I don't love talking like that. But this is not – we've started him for a couple games. It's not working. This is not a Trey Lance situation. This is not a Jordan Love situation who's been really good but had the mystery. We've seen it for three years. It's frustrating to hear Salah come out and say he's the unquestioned star. It's not even questioned. And it's also frustrating to say, we see great things in practice. Of course you do. Like, there's no stakes. There's no pressure. There's no hitting him. And then he goes in the game for three years, and he's <clears throat> bad, really bad. So it's easy to say, bench him, bench him. But then you have to have the responsibility to say, okay, well, then who are you going to play? Tim Boyle is on the roster. The, the resume is rough. At this point, I would do anything. And I was saying, like, like who would you put in? I'm like, honestly, just anybody. I don't want to see Zach Wilson start for the Jets again. It's not working. It's never going to work. So those, na those names, Peter, or anybody else, the answer is yes. I don't want to see him start again. I've had enough. I'm out. I'm out on signing a veteran quarterback because as long as Robert Sala can keep a pulse on the locker room and keep the guys together and know that this is a concerted effort or lack thereof, to win games this season because you know in your heart of hearts and in your gut and with whatever conversations you've had with Aaron Rodgers that if he is good, he is coming back. It's kind of a, it's a win-win and a lose-lose all at the same time. If the Jets are so bad that the top five draft pick, great. You get a quarterback. Go get it. You've done it great. three times before this. Go get another quarterback. I think Joe Douglas and Robert Sala will be around if they get a That's five pick. This is what I mean about he has to have very specific conversations with people in that building. If he loses the team on the making this decision with leaving Zach Wilson under center, that's a different conversation. But if the players are saying, coach, it's fine. Get us a season. We'll get AR back. Then so be it. So I'm out on signing the veteran. Th throw that list up for me again. This is a tough one because you watch the game and Zach Wilson is playing with zero confidence. There's times where the entire offensive line has everybody blocked up and he's not even looking down the field long enough to be able to make a pass to somebody. But the question is do you go out and sign a veteran free agent quarterback? I'm out. My answer is no because there's nobody on this list where I'm like, yep. Go get that guy, and we have a chance yeah. now to go win a Super Bowl with the roster that we've built around us. Yes, we have a good defense. Yes, we have two good running backs. And when Robert Sala says Zach Wilson isn't the reason we're losing the game, what he's saying is he's not the only reason we lose the game. They can't run the ball right now. And I know the New England Patriots defense is really good, but for them to win games going in, it wasn't Zach Wilson has to come in for Aaron Rodgers and go win us football games. It was no. He has to control the ball. We have to play good defense and run the ball. If they can't run the ball, nothing else matters. You plug in one of those free agent quarterbacks, they still going to need to run the ball to win games. Those guys aren't winning games for them either. Guess what? The Chiefs and Dolphins are coming up. I mean, mm. this is where this is not going to get any better. I'll tell you that. Uh, here's where I stand on it. And I think if you're watching the show and you guys at the table know I've got relationships around the league, but the Jets are a building that I, I know very well. And I've seen this team be built. While we were doing flips over Aaron Rodgers and like Dalvin Cook and Alan Lazard and Randall Cobb, no one went through the scenario of what if Rodgers goes down, we're back at Zach Wilson, mm -hmm. then who's Zach's backup? They mm -hmm. didn't address that situation. Mm -hmm. And mm. quite frankly, you look at the offensive line, you look at 30-something-year-old Dwayne Brown at your left tackle spot and say, oh, he's good for 18 weeks. Yeah. So Brown goes down. Now you got Becton playing left tackle. Yeah. You're moving Tipman to the guard. He doesn't play guard. Then you got Vera Tucker playing position. Like, the offensive line was all out of whack. First time for all those guys. 
it was a recipe for disaster and we're in week four and there's no possible way out because there are no viable quarterbacks and the offensive line isn't suddenly going to get healthy and be great at this point. So I don't see sunnier days ahead, but I also don't know what Salah could do. If they sign Nick Foles, what that does maybe is a gesture to the fans, like we hear you, yeah. it's an olive branch. I don't know if it makes the team any better, but yeah. at this point, for Salah and Douglas, like job security, it might be worth it. Just go get one of those guys. Sure, you're talking about the offensive line. Which one of those veteran guys want to go stand behind an offensive line that's moving pieces all around? Fair <laughs> enough. Nick Foles has a lot of money and he's happy at home. Like this. Matt money, Ryan was like, I'm right. good. The booth, the booth is comfortable. I have air conditioning. No he gets one's first class me. flights everywhere. It's yeah. great. <laughs>